is the firepower of this fully armed and operational mill. Fifty thou, death the cut. Hey, welcome back to the internet. If you're watching this video, perhaps you're curious if a 3D printed pulley is going to work on a small mini mill like mine, Max NC, uh, CNC. Well, we're going to find out. Uh, so, in order to give ourselves a fighting shot that this might actually work, I've made this little uh, math eliminator uh, spreadsheet. What I have here is motor, my max motor RPM, the size of a pulley that I could potentially put on here my spindle pulley diameter in inches, and then the resultant uh, RPM after doing all the math. Uh, my belt's uh, circumference, and then the center line distance given the pulley sizes, so that way I know if it's going to fit uh, inside my, uh, my particular mill and motor setup. Over here we have some surface feet per minute to give us a fighting chance to get a good surface finish for various bits. Um, so quick, here's what I've chosen. I'm going to go with the two and a half inch driver pulley. So this will be on the motor and then the spindle pulley will be 1.652. And what that will, that will give us 10,000 RPM at our spindle, which is going to be, I think just about perfect. Uh, most Tormox, like the Tormox 440 is a 10,000 uh, RPM spindle. So I, I think we're in good company there, uh, for size of machine. All right. So let's get on to the good stuff. Here's the plan. Uh, picture, if you will, this is going to be the uh, existing stock pulley after I machine it on the lathe. Uh, it's going to have a flat and then this particular section here right there. So this is uh, this will be the, the, the 3D printed part right here. I got uh, a couple holes here uh, in case I need to do drive pins, but I'm going to try just pressing this uh, this plastic piece onto this aluminum piece and reuse the set screw that comes with it. Uh, the set screws over here. Um, the motor will be on this side and the spindle on this side. Uh, we'll go ahead and machine down. Uh, so this is a two and a half inch gear on the, right here and this is like one and five eighths. So yeah, that's pretty much how it's going to go. So for every one rotation that this pulley does, the smaller pulley will rotate about 1.6 times. So we should get about a 60% increase in speed. So that's what's going to get us to our 10,000 RPM. All right, let's go print some parts and see if we can blow it up. This, this is going to be fun. You're going to, really, you're going to want to stick around. Oh, really close. Take off just a hair more. Heck, probably just a spring pass would do it. Let's sneak up on her. Oh, yes. That'll work. So what was the point of all this? That's a good question. I know that when I turn down this face here, that this shoulder and this cylinder is going to be running as true as possible to this. As long as I don't take this uh, brass piece out of the three-jaw chuck, I don't have to worry about any kind of uh, non-concentricity between this shaft and this spinning uh, chuck. And that way I can be I can rest assured that my part is as close to sloppy perfect as my machine's gonna let me get. We'll leave that in there. That'll that'll be our drive force, and we'll just take light passes because we're chicken. And now we just have some fun and play around a little bit because uh, I don't have any finished dimensions on any of this. Just gonna fly by the seat of our pants here.
Alright, so we're about 900 thou. Maybe we'll take her down to 875 and clean up the shoulder. I can't really go too much into the meat of this um, without getting into trouble. I declare it perfect, and it shall be perfect, because it, well, it doesn't really have to be. We're going to make the 3D part later. And that is how you take a perfectly good pulley and turn it into garbage. All right, so we're close. I think we got another 10 thou or so, and then we'll be able to put, mount the other uh, pulley. Oh yeah, she's right there. Oh yes. All right, you um, you may want to turn away if you're a little squeamish. There we go. Crazy like a fox. All right, let's go ahead and put that set screw in. Okay, go ahead and shout out. If you know what my dilemma is about to be, I need to get down to about here, and my set screw's way too long for that. So I cut off the old one and made this teensy weensy one. So I made this baby set screw here, but I've done boogered the threads, so I think I'm gonna have to file them back into being straight. Uh, and then we'll use that set screw. Otherwise, we're gonna chop off the end of this set screw and get in trouble. All right, so we've got our small set screw in there. Turn it on. Seems like no matter what I do, I cannot escape filing! Arrgh! I can either file on these for another three hours, or just drill and tap a hole here, so there'll be two holes. Guess which one I'm gonna do. Now, we'll drill our super precise... Okay, who saw that one coming? Go ahead, raise your hands. Ah, dang it. All of you?! can either cut more length off of this screw, or I just put on a lock washer, and then it looks intentional and professional, as opposed to just, I'm too lazy to go cut off more thread. See? It's all about being intentional. Get in there, hole! Golly. Why do you always have such a hard time threading in? Get in your bloody hole. There we go. Of course, you do want to off. Moment of truth. Will this work? It's definitely catching on something. That's probably because I didn't clean these teeth very well. So there's probably a little bit of plastic. So I'm hoping that if I spin it up, that plastic will just wear in. Only one way to know for sure, and that's to spin it up. I do believe my 3D printer is crap. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can lose our teeth. Ooh, something's out of balance. She's a wee bit out of balance, I think.
<laughs> it just looks so wobbly. It looks so wobbly. I don't know if you can... I don't know if this is really coming across, but she looks so wobbly. Okay, so in all fairness... Here, I should go down below. We are pushing a fly cutter across. So... Let's see if we can break it real quick. Alright, so we're doing it at about a thousand RPM right now. Let's boost it up just a bit. Two thousand RPM. Alright. Depth of cut, 20 inches per minute. Alright. Yeah, that's not too bad. And the surface finish isn't all that bad either. Alright, so we can now fly cut. <laughs> that's pretty sweet! So that's test one. Let's go ahead and throw in a um, an end mill and see what we can do with this. Just for fun. And for, you know, for science. So what we got here is the 7 16 end mill with 3 8 shank, rougher. Before dinner time comes, we're going to do this real quick. Um. I have no idea what the feeds and speeds for this thing should be. Alright, I'm gonna go with the 5500 RPMs. Alright, so this should be 10 thou depth of cut, 7 16 width of cut, 20 inches per minute at 5500 RPM. Alright, let's go 20 thou. That was 20 thou depth of cut. 30 thou depth of cut? Yeah, it's really poor surface finish. So let's bump up the RPM. Depth of cut, 716 width of cut, 9,000 RPM. No problem. <laughs> okay, so update. The new... F the new fan for the motor is working great. This is ice cold. I mean, ice cold. That's awesome. The new pulleys, even though they sound like a 1960s tractor PTO drive, working great. The rougher end mill, 7 16 diameter, can go 40 thou depth of cut at 9,000 RPM. Uh, where's my brush? I don't feel like putting my finger in there and slicing it up. Here we go. Let's take a look at this. Alright, so it's a rougher. And you can tell. <laughs> well, that was, I mean, that took a quick work of it. I mean, that was 40 thou. Let's go, let's go 50. Let's go 50 thou depth of cut real quick. 9,000 RPM. I think we can go harder. Here we go. 50 thou depth of cut. Oh, 
Oh, that sounded horrible. Oh. My goodness, did that sound cringy. And oh, it was so loud. But we did 50 thou. It's a rougher, so the you can definitely tell the surface finish is, well, it, it is what it is, I suppose. So, what have we learned in all this? We now can, with this motor, we can now do uh, 10,000 RPM to the spindle, because we have a 2.5 inch pulley here and a 1 and uh, 3 quarter pulley here, I think. Uh, that might be 1 and 5 eighths, I'll have to double check. What are you going to do with the blue one? What am I going to do with the blue one? I'm going to make things.